Hello and welcome. In this video we'll be showing you how to add your devices to your Cusambi network. Then we'll demonstrate some of the basic light control features available in the app. Let's get started. The first step is to select my networks from the list. Now select the network that you wish to add your devices to. Please note that a device cannot be paired to more than one network. If the device you wish to add to your network is already paired to another network, you'll have to unpair it before you can add it to your network. Make sure that your Bluetooth is on. Once you've done this, select Show Nearby Devices in the center of the screen. You will then be shown a list of all the Cusambi compatible devices within Bluetooth range. Note that to pair your devices they'll need to be plugged into a power source. Select the device you wish to add from the list. To configure your device to match the LED strip it will be controlling, select Change Profile from the list. Select the option that matches your LED strip, whether it be single channel white, tunable white, RGB or RGBW. Today we'll be using an RGBW strip. Tap on Start Update to begin the process. When this is done select the device from the list once more, and select Add to Network. The pairing process will now begin, and may take a little time. Once your device is paired select back in the top left corner of the screen, and you'll be taken to the Luminaires page of your network. An icon will have been added for your device. To simply turn the device on and off, tap once on the icon. To dim the light and make color adjustments, hold down on the icon. If your device is controlling a white LED strip, there will only be one bar. For tunable white there will be two. For RGB there will be three, and as shown, four for RGBW. To dim the light slide the bar titled dimmer. To change the ratio of white to color, use the second control. To change the actual color of the light, slide along the color bar. To change the saturation, use the last slide. You can also change both of these simultaneously by tapping anywhere on the color chart. To further configure your device, double tap on the icon. Here you can rename your device, and even set a picture for your Luminaires icon. Information about the device, such as the vendor, serial number and device model will also be shown here. If you select the Details tab, you'll be presented a comprehensive list of device information. The Change Luminaire State tab, opens the same set of controls we explored earlier in the video. In Modes, we can pre-configure settings for our light. To activate a mode, tap on it, and to edit it, hold down. In this page you can set a dedicated daylight sensor, and set the daylight gain for your luminaire. We can also change the luminaire's startup state. The options are the default mode, shown earlier, and the state of the luminaire when it was last powered off. To change the maximum and minimum dim level of the luminaire, use the two sliding bars. Lastly, you are also able to unpair the device from your network through this page. Thanks for watching. We hope that this video was helpful, and we look forward to creating more videos like this in the future.